so we're just going to check things out, right? In whatever that forest is called. Estaluva Forest. Next time, pay attention. my eyes the winds are strong here mind yourselves Ugh, even the inside of my mouth is all sandy poodle don't get blown away okay somehow things are even worse outside the city than they are inside yeah it's all ruined houses and everything else even if it was all in the name of beating the renants this is This place gives me the creeps. You really think that lord is hiding out here? Be careful. The air is dense with astral energy. Something's not quite right about this place. How are you able to pick up on all this stuff anyway? Is it something that all astral arts wielders can do? I must admit, I'm curious myself. Perhaps her den and bloodline has something to do with it. <laughs> Dohalim. Apologies. I meant no disrespect. Stay alert, everyone. There's a good chance that she already knows we're here. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Hmm. I suppose if you're a lord going into hiding, a forest is one place to turn. We don't know for sure she's here. Keep looking. Everyone okay? Yeah. If only I were a cat. I can feel my power growing. Yeah. If only I were a cat. Nobody here. It's been nothing but Zoogles. No lords, no Renan forces. They have to be holed up somewhere, right? From the look of things, I don't think anybody's been here for a while. If anyone was here, they're long gone now. That can't be. Look out! We'll figure this out later. Right now, this thing needs dealing with. Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Buckler! So much for finding the Lord. Come on, let's get back to Niaz. Shion, calm down. This isn't like you. What's wrong? Talk to me. It's none of your concern. Even after everything we've been through together? The two of us are only helping each other because our interests overlap, remember? Are you serious? You helped me come to terms with Zephyr's death. You put your life on the line to save me. Don't tell me you did all that out of necessity. That it was only because we have a common goal. <sighs> 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 
fine. Huh? You don't want to answer? Then I'll do whatever I like from now on, too. Clearly, I'm just bothering you. So it doesn't matter if you tell me what's on your mind. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop looking out for you. Not now, not ever. That's not fair. Why can't you just leave me alone? You don't know the first thing about me. But I do. I know you care about the pain of others. <gasps> you care, Xion. That's why I want to help. Because of my thorns, I thought I had been doomed to a life of solitude. Until the day I died, I knew I would be alone. And now? The truth is, I'm trying to end my curse and get rid of my thorns. Get rid of? There's a way to do that? Really? I'm not completely sure. All I know is there's a chance. But that's the reason I need the Renes Alma. The Renes Alma? The Master Core to end all Master Cores. It is bestowed upon the winner of the Crown Contest, the new Sovereign as proof of their victory. It must be assembled from all five Master Cores. That's why taking down the Lords is so important to you. But Shion, you're not in this alone. If there's a chance we can rid you of your thorns, I'll be by your side the whole way. That includes us, right? Like it or not, you're going to have to get used to relying on us every now and then. What kind of friends would we be otherwise? Thank you. Dan in Liberation and the Renis Alma. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. If we have any hope of finding this Lord and their Master Corps, we start by heading back to Nias. Man, who would have thought we'd ever get thanked by Xion? Sounds like someone wants me to grab their arm. Ah, I'm joking, I'm joking! Damn time. Took long enough. Oh, but that's... Right. I can't wait. Head on over to the plaza. What's going on? It seems busier here than before. Hey, look! Isn't that Bayfon over there? Ah, there you are. It seems I owe you all an apology. I'm guessing you didn't find the Lord back in the forest, did you? No, but something tells me you already knew that. That I did. Turns out I bit down on some bad intel when I should have known better. Apparently, Deadeye's not as trusting of me as I thought. But why would he feed you bad intel? My guess? He wanted me to lead you all astray. Make sure you weren't sniffing around where he didn't want you to be. While you were off in the forest, I got word that one of our squads captured the Lord. The place wasn't even close to where you were searching. I see. Well, the important thing is that you finally caught her. 
Did you suffer many casualties? You're not going to believe this, but she didn't even put up a fight. She had no escort either. Well, what about her Master Corps? Was it recovered? Sorry. They only briefed me on the basics. For now, Deadheim's getting ready to make his victory speech out in the plaza. In the meantime, I've been ordered to set up a defense perimeter around the outside of the city, so I'll be out of town for a while. I imagine Deadheim will announce what he intends to do with the Lord during his speech. You'll have to let me know how it goes. Anyway, until next time. A Renan Lord surrendering without a fight? Something doesn't add up here. I'm afraid I can't say I know much of her lordship personally. There's a lot about this that doesn't make sense. The Master Corps is a concern, too. Let's stick around like Bayfon suggested and see what happens. We don't leave until we get to the bottom of this. I'm worried about just what Deadeye has in store for Almadria. For now, let's wait at the end until he gives his victory speech. These must be the Danans the Darkwings freed. Yeah. The city might be in ruins. The people have risen from the ashes. This is the place Bayfon said Deadeim would reveal the Lord's fate. I wonder what he'll do to her. <sighs> well... Is that? Yes. It's Lord Almadria Kynaris. Please stop! No good can come of such hatred! Stop or there'll be no turning back! <laughs> Is this supposed to be justice?
I did warn you, did I not? Nothing good can ever come of such nasty hatred. <laughs> What do we have here? Could it really be the witch from Dan? <laughs> Honestly, I thought I had wiped all of you out of existence back then. I guess there was one survivor after all. Mm. Hey, Rinwell! Shut up! This is the only thing that's keeping me going anymore. Stay out of my way or I'll kill you! Rinwell. I'll kill you. I swear it. I will kill you! of the same hatred as those people who died. You saw what she did. What are you saying? She should just get away with it all? You're right. Rinwell. I don't know what I'm doing. But still, I know it's wrong. If you go through with this... I know you regret it. I'm sorry. I am. Forgive me. I can't believe you. You, of all people. Of all the people! show quite finished. Why, you... For many years of my life, I devoted myself to the study of astral arts. But the knowledge I took from your family was truly enlightening indeed. For that you deserve a reward. I shall allow you to taste one of the fruits of my labor. new health. 
hellish compositions. That is what I do best. Now Ma, I'm... Sorry for almost blowing me up. Hey, not like it's the first time. Come on, we need to take her down. Okay. You'll pay for that! Throw Wait, away! No. The water's not enough! Magic is in! Coming through! Ha! Now! Scarlet Inferno! I'll bring you back Come on. astral energy! Say no more! Is everyone all right? Yeah. Major, it got away. Linwell, are you... What... What the hell happened here? Bayfon, is that you? Thank goodness you're okay. I've been outside the city this whole time. But I sensed a disturbance in the wind and decided to turn back. What happened here? Where is everybody? All Madria's handiwork. She allowed herself to be captured so she could rile up the Danans into a frenzy and rob them of their astral energy. She wiped out almost everyone in the plaza. Including Deadheim. Deadheim's dead. Everyone. And the Darkwings. Almost all of our companions in the Resistance. How could this happen? Regardless of what she had to gain, what kind of person would do something like that? If she managed to find kinship in Kelzalik, then I'd say the very worst kind. It's clear now that she used Men and Sia as a testing ground for the fruits of Helgen, before using them here. So everything that led up to this moment was all a part of her plan. Once she knew they'd eaten enough tainted food, she just needed to get herself caught. We have to go after her. Balseth and Ganabel were horrible, but Almadria makes them look like saints. I doubt she's really gone back into hiding. We have to put an end to this, once and for all. Yeah, what she's done can't be forgiven. I... I don't know what to do. I saw what hatred did to those people, but... Hating her is the only thing that's kept me going. I can't just stop hating her. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. Smile at her from across the battlefield? Apologize while we fight her? I don't know if I can do that. Rinwell. Nobody can understand what you've been through. We can't even begin to imagine the pain you've experienced. But if hate is what has kept you going ever since that day, then let it be your strength. However, think about this. When you've had your revenge, when we've beaten Almadria, then what will you do? Huh? I'm saying you're going to have to find a way to survive once that hatred is gone. When it is, what do you plan on doing then? I don't... I don't know. I've never thought about it before. Almadria's death doesn't have to be your end, too. You need a reason to live, Rinwell, not an excuse to die. Understand? <laughs> She's right. We could never truly know the pain that Almadria has caused you. But I think you should listen to Xion. Give yourself time to consider things. And if it's too much right now, it's okay for you to sit this one out. No. My head might be a mess right now. But I'm not letting you fight Almadria without me. I need to be there. Please. That much I do know. I'm going with you. And on the road, I'll... I'll think about it. A reason to live. Without hate. That said, it'll be no good chasing after her blind with no idea where she went. Bayfon, do you have any ideas where she might have gone? I can't say for sure, but west of here is an underground harbor along a cliff near the coast. 
She spent years building a ship there, a floating fortress that she called her castle on the sea. No one quite knew why she wanted the thing, but now... Of course, she's already effectively destroyed her own capital. It's likely she planned to abandon her realm as well. Right. That's as good a lead as any. Let's go. We'll stop it this time. <laughs> around here. Oh. That enemy looks strong. I bet it'll be worth our while to fight it. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Danids. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, we damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. <laughs> 